They're proof I bought a ticket to Chicago for one day to answer for my alleged crimes. Disgraced former Super Smash Bros. Melee player Hugo Hugs Gonzalez has responded to Chicagoland Melee's allegations regarding the cancellation of their October 19th installment of weekly tournament series Midlane Melee and has stated his intentions to set things right. Come to one of our events and apologize in person. That's the only way to make it right, to be honest. Only way to make it right. Apologize. Go to Chicago and apologize. Let's look at flights. Hugs was last seen in Chicago in a private event held at Midlane Esports in Logan Square, Chicago, Illinois, where he played Mario Kart and, allegedly, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in the closed-off venue of the Midwest's biggest Melee Weekly. While Hugs claims to have had no knowledge that his presence at Midlane that Wednesday would lead to the cancellation of one of Melee's most venerated weeklies, he has gone ahead and followed the request made by Chicago co-head T.O. Oval to make an in-person apology. I, I just wanted to fly out to Chicago. That's, that's not a big deal. He did it for Dignitas, so I mean, you know, why not for us? Where's your roots? Where's your roots, Hugs? For the goodwill that I value in the Melee community, I have to do this. I am literally going there just to apologize. I am apologizing on stream. I will have a prepared speech, and then I am going home. On Wednesday, May 10th, 2023, Hug says he will fly to Chicago, go to Midlane, apologize on stream, and then leave. Ever the Machiavellian, it appears that Hugs will be using this one-day trip to Chicago, flying in in the morning and leaving at night, as a way to enrich his brand. He promises to vlog the entire experience and possibly also engage in such publicity stunts as spotting Chicago's former king, Kells, at the gym. Chicago TOs have responded positively to this announcement and say that they have been in touch with Hugs, who will be both apologizing and commentating at Midlane at this coming May 10th installment. Whether Hugs' apology will be accepted, however, depends on whether or not that apology is truly sincere. He told me he's, uh, he's going to commentate and he's got a statement to make. We'll see what that statement is. I don't know if he's gonna double down or if he's gonna apologize for, you know, ruining our scene and destroying what we worked so hard to build. I think it's, um, I think it's a, a brilliant start uh, on the apology tour. I think it's just uh, the first step though. I feel like we're owed more, you know, as a community. I think if he was publicly seen inside of Mr. E's, uh, perhaps photographed inside of Mr. E's, the official, unofficial sponsor of Chicagoland Melee. I feel like that would, that would do a lot to regain community trust. I think maybe if he bought uh, me a drink at mid lane, um, I'm, not, I'm not so concerned about like anybody else getting a drink so much as myself. Um, but I feel like that would that would also go a long way to you know healing the rift. I, I feel like that's um, probably his wisest course of action, or just cash, or just straight up cash. I'd be fine with cash too. I take Venmo. This may will be Hug's first time at Midlane Esports since this past October. Although To Tenacity says there were unsuccessful efforts to bring the Pokemon and chess streamer to the venue this past February. A couple months ago. Uh in february midlane themselves talked to hugs and were like hey since there was no midlane melee would you want to come back and they sort of got the ball rolling uh saying like oh if, if our like tos provide like pay for my travel and for like my housing i would go and we were like probably can't it's not in the budget book you know we don't make money from it as as it is so it'd be putting us pretty far in the red. But now that Hugs has uh, got enough subs, it seems like he's, he's willing to make the trip out, which is huge. No, I mean, I, I think there's no more genuine um, expression of... of uh, sorrow and and really feeling like you've changed than commodifying the full experience i think that that's that's the only way that i know that somebody is actually sorry 
is if they've turned it into a, a content piece. 